I'm going to have to move on because I forgot where the hell I was at and what I was saying. But um, but ultimately, I don't I don't think nobody's going to vote for Kamala Harris. Uh, well, not nobody, but I don't think she could get enough votes to beat Trump. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And once again, for all you people that were still going for body and in his condition, y'all some dangerous ass people. Because y'all know that man was, wasn't fit for the job and stuff. And y'all was going to sit there and still vote for him after I got them orange juices, $5 for a goddamn quart. Gas is goddamn three fifty for regular, and y'all still and when we was paying one ninety two dollars, orange juice was a dollar seventy nine. Y'all know me; I do the shopping shows, so I remember. And y'all still was gonna vote for this goddamn man. It's crazy, man. You see, you see, you see. Y'all, y'all, y'all was really just going to set us up for failure, man. Man, what? I'm gonna tell y'all. We all, we all going to deal with racism until the day the motherfucking aliens land on this goddamn planet. Then you gonna see you gonna see uh, racism. That she gonna die. When motherfuckers see aliens. Oh, nigga, uh, humans are gonna stick together. They black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican, African. It, 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 none of that's gonna matter. These motherfucking aliens come down here. Niggas are gonna be running with each other like when the goddamn uh, that plane hit the World Trade Center. Blam! Everybody that was downtown, they seeing that shit coming out. Motherfuckers wasn't talking about no race. Yo, get away from me, black man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the white woman on the floor in the ashes, she didn't look and say, look and see a black person and be like, oh, I don't want your help. Get out of here. I'm waiting for a white person to come help me. No, nigga. They was, everybody was helping each other, trying to get the hell out as that, as that shit was crumbling. And them niggas was filled with that white ass powder from the, the the building and stuff. Everybody running down the street trying to help each other. Nigga, you you nobody was talking about race. Nobody for at least 48 hours. Nobody was talking about race in New York. Everybody was one. A bunch of victims of a terrorist attack. Nobody was talking about race. Now, two days later, three days later, it was back to normal. But I'm telling you, this, this is the first time in my life I've seen uh, that's probably the only time in my life now, I, I've been places where, you know, a bunch of different coaches, um, you know, coincide with each other, mingle with each other, and it's peace and harmony. But I'm talking about in a, uh, a travesty, like, it's probably the same way in a, in a, a tsunami or any other, uh, you know, world tragedy. That, that uh, it takes stuff like that, which is sad. To show people that color and race don't matter because at a point we may need each other. You might need your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? And you might adjust the person on their appearance. You might adjust the person on their skin color. You might adjust the person on their religion. You might, you know what I'm saying? All that shit in the, in the, in the tragedy does not 
matter. You know, and if we lived our lives like that daily, the world would be a better place. But that's that's the dream. <laughs> that's the dream, man. But um now 